Let's go on the scene now to Wilmington, Delaware. That is where the widow of Hunter Biden's late brother, Bo, was called to testify in his federal gun trial. Hallie Biden testified to first seeing Hunter Biden use crack cocaine and then using it alongside him. She testified that she was embarrassed and ashamed of that period of her life, claiming that she stopped using it in August of 2018. Legal affairs correspondent Avajoy Burnett joins us now live on the scene outside of the courthouse in Delaware. Avajoy, what more did we learn from what Haley Biden had to say today? It's quite a stunning testimony that's going on inside the courthouse. We are now on a one hour break. And as you mentioned, Chris, Hallie Biden, the widow of Bo Biden, she is on the stand. She is the fifth person that the prosecution has called to try to make their case that Hunter Biden bought a weapon while he was addicted to drugs. And Hallie Biden is the third person who has previously been romantically involved with Hunter Biden, who's been called to the witness stand. Remember that his ex-wife was called, a previous girlfriend, and now Hallie Biden. Uh, she is the widow of Hunter uh, of Bo Biden, but then she started a relationship with Hunter Biden after his brother passed away. And as you mentioned, she talked about the moments when she first learned that Hunter Biden was using drugs. She mentioned that she saw crack didn't quite know what it was so she googled it and that's when she asked hunter biden if he was using drugs and she got the answer that he was as you also mentioned chris she was introduced to using drugs by hunter biden and she had this quote inside the courtroom on the witness stand i'm going to read it for you she said i am embarrassed and ashamed and i regret that period of my life so it gives you an idea of what it was like for her going through those moments about two years or so where she was on and off dating Hunter Biden. But something else that she was able to bring into the testimony is the moment of that gun. And when she found the gun in his, his pickup truck that was brought to her home here in Wilmington, Delaware. And she said she doesn't remember all of the exact dates, but she remembered Hunter Biden coming over. He appeared tired. He looked tired. He may or may not have gone to sleep. But as is normal for her, she would normally go through his vehicle to clean it out, clean it out of the drugs. And when she went into the vehicle in the console, she found that weapon. And she said she panicked. I'm going to read something else for you that she said about that. She said, I realized um, it was, well, before we get to that, she said she panicked. I wanted to get rid of them, meaning the gun and the bullets. And so what she did was she went to a grocery store store that was in the city and tossed it in a trash can, tossed that weapon in a trash can. So as we move forward with her testimony, we got an idea that Hunter Biden actually uh, found out that the weapon was no longer inside that vehicle and he called her. She told him what she did and then he told her to go back to that grocery store and retrieve that gun. We saw two pieces of video today, Chris, of Hallie Biden going back to that grocery store, looking into the trash can after she'd been seen putting what appeared to be that gun inside the trash can. She went back a second time after Hunter Biden told her to go and retrieve that weapon. She went back uh, looking in that one piece of video at least three times, frantically trying to find the weapon, but it was not there. And that is when they submitted a report that the weapon uh, was not there. We will obviously be getting additional testimony because the defense, they're now going over everything. They're, uh, they're cross-examining Hallie Biden and really poking holes into her timeline here. Hallie Biden, just so that you all are aware of this, she is the first person to attempt to directly tie Hunter Biden to being close to drugs or possibly, possibly even using drugs in that key time period of October of 2018. That is when he bought the weapon and that is what's at issue here. You're not allowed to buy a weapon if you're addicted to drugs or if you're unlawfully using drugs. So this is a witness who could possibly help the prosecution tie this key timeline together. Was he on drugs when he bought that weapon? What defense attorneys are really trying to do at this moment is point out the fact that there are many key timelines and dates that she does not remember. We're on that one hour lunch break at this point and she will be back on the stand once we get back inside the courthouse. Chris? Now, Hallie Biden, just such important and personal testimony there in Delaware. Legal affairs correspondent Avajoy Burnett for us live on the scene. Avajoy, thank you.